I'm live, yay! <laughs> this is not working now. Come on, work, 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 work. Where is it? Oh, why is it not working? Try and pull it, out and pull it back in again. On. Nope. <laughs> it ain't working. Is it because that's been taken out? I borrowed the battery. No, I haven't. Oh, sorry about this. I'm trying to put my lights on, but it's not working. Which is rubbish. Hmm. Mm, it's not happening. I'm going to have to put uh, this on instead. Ew, I like my twinkly lights. <laughs> there we go. I can't find my twinkly light, but I'm like, I've got my thing, but for some reason it's not having it. Oh, I like my twinkly lights. <laughs> Oh well, I think it's the battery. I do actually have my battery box back. Yay. I said, Hi, Wheats, how are you? I gotta go collect my Domino's pizza first, then I'll resume with my pictures. Yes, I've got a couple of bits that I'm doing today. Uh, it's all go. Have you heard about the, um, of course, it, literally, if you're on Instagram, you can't get away from it, but like the Depop, uh, the uh, eBay news. Hang on. Sorry, my dad wants my attention. Hang on. <laughs> he like greets at the door and he's like, it's like, I can't understand what you're saying. Hi, dog. Yes, I see you. I see you, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Hi. He's jumping off. You know, oh. You see him. Oh, no, he's gone. Go on out. Go on. Oh. I'm not going to be long. Oh. Hi, Babs. Hi, Jackie. I am feeling a lot better. Thank you. Uh, I'm still not 100%. I've just had my, uh, my antibiotic pill. <laughs> uh, I'm on a private account, so yay. <laughs> Free beats on all the apps. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So I don't blame people doing that now. I really don't. <laughs> I've had a, someone at eBay, not recently, this is ages ago, when I switched over to um, one, like for a business account, he said, oh, it's not worth you actually going on a business account. You might as well stay a private account. And I was like, what do you mean? It's like, because the fees that you pay are going to be more than what you get in. in what's... So even their representatives know. It's just silliness. Silliness, silliness. What it is, we're just going to have to live with it. Move on. Just move on up. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I shouldn't use my teeth. Right, that's done. So that's been annoying me. It's been, this little bag of toys has been sat there and all they needed to do was put it in a bag. And it's, yeah. It's amazing how like little jobs kind of like pile up and you're like, Ugh. excuse me. Oh, there's my measure thing. I've been using my uh, backup. <laughs> Yeah, it's not feasible for me when I don't list enough. Yeah, I also uh, filled my self-assessment today, so I've been busy. I haven't done that yet, and I, <laughs> do you know what? I promised. I was like, oh, come the end of the tax year, I'm going to do it in April. I'm going to do it in April. Have I done it? No. <laughs> I've got everything sorted, so it is all in, like, the months, like, all my receipts and everything and all my expenses. Like, the majority of it is kind of like, it's done. I just need to tally it all up. That's all. And then at least you'll know what you have to pay next year. But like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to do it now. I haven't done it. I haven't done it now. Yeah, you did mine yesterday. Everybody's on it. Everybody's well on it. And I'm just like, Meh. yeah, I did promise myself I'm going to do it in April this year. Get it all kind of out the way so I'm not running around. But it is. Right, so they're all done. So I can put them in. What's about? Oh, this chair is so annoying. I really don't like it now. Um, where's me thing? 
I'll tell you what, I'll list these. I'll list these and then I'll package them all up in one. Right. Sorry, I bought one of those horrible coffees for 59p, which are actually really nice. <laughs> right. So how is everybody? It feels like I haven't done this in a while. Like literally the other day. <laughs> my pad my ipad for a bit i haven't done any du duolingo as well i've kind of put incorporated it into my routine so i do at least like an hour but i've been like i've been number one on every league <laughs> there we go we're up there right i've been number one in every league for the past like four uh, no seven leagues so I'm, I'm i'm doing quite well so now i don't want to break that streak i've made a rod for my own back um Okay, okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and I'm 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 thinking of getting that big unit, the big unit. I'm very tempted, and I'm I'm coming up with ways of like saving the extra money that it's going to take to move on up. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a clown. Um, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. What's that? Uh, oh. See, there's my iPad going off. Yeah, I'm going to not discuss the eBay drama. I've done that in a video. I'm gonna, I might do a, a secondary video <laughs> coming out. But, uh, yeah, I think I've said most of like what everyone else is saying. So I don't want to keep adding fuel to the fire. But... Uh, Put that down there, out of the way. <clears throat> oh, and I've got my thing right. I'm ready. Oh, I'm all ready. Check me out. Yeah, so I am. <laughs> I am toying with the idea of going into a bigger unit, and I'm like, I'm this close to actually doing it. I'm like, oh, should I? Because I, I want to make up the shortfall first, because I don't want to work harder because <laughs> I'm late. Um. But yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so how's everyone else been? Been living large? How's sales? I tell you what, <laughs> I have like so my Depop account last month absolutely went bananas. This month the first week was very kind of like, has been very slow. I accepted that offer, didn't I? Yeah, I've accepted that. Um, and I realised, I went on, I don't know why I put it on. I put it on holiday mode because I was ill. I say ill. I was actually ill. No third come as needed. Um, I was I was ill and I was like bedridden, basically. And I'm still not 100%. I put it on holiday mode so that anyway i've completely forgotten i was like why are the sales not coming through why are they... anyway as soon as i took it off holly mode i got a, i got a sale didn't i so and i've just been sent an offer today so yeah, i'm hoping it might catch up but i doubt i doubt this month is going to be as big as last month um i'm still hoping it's going to be pretty good though Because uh, I think I pulled in, I think it was 790. I could, I'm going to have to do, I, I've done all my numbers for like a March roundup. Like, because I've been, I've been doing these March kind of like what sold like every month for over a year now. And I, I try and get as close to as accurate net profit as I can to show you it's not all, <laughs> it's not all uh, sunshines and rain, sunshine and rainbows. Is my internet playing up? I think I feel like my internet is playing up again. The wind here is absolutely atrocious, and there's black, like literally black clouds, like dark grey black clouds over there. So now I'm just like, oh god. I was going to do something special later, but I don't want to do that. We're going to have time for that now. I had a bit of an afternoon nap that ended in like a three-hour nap. Not good. <laughs> And I accidentally published my um, my new video. That's out. It was meant to be for tomorrow, but I think I was ill. 
<laughs> I think I was like kind of like tired and just went, uh, <laughs> I'm blaming the illness. Let's see. Teeny logo. Is this large? I'm sure this is like a large. Yeah, large. So please tell me if my internet is is decided to work. <laughs> It's not a lot of the time. Um, it's like a let's put that as red. There we go. Married to reselling. Hello, can you hear me? All right, is my internet playing up or is it okay? Because it keeps on flashing on my screen, it keeps on doing stuff. I've just I watched your um. On Aaron's podcast, I've only watched half of it though because I had to go out earlier. <laughs> Hi, Chica. All good. Oh, fabulous. Good. Yeah, there's a you. Re, you reminded me actually because there's an auction. I think it's this weekend near me, so I'm gonna. I might go in. I want to actually go into the auction house because I haven't done it in a while, and I like. I like going into an auction. I like doing it online as well. But sometimes when you go in, it's, it's kind of a bit more. Whoo. <laughs> that's a, that's a technical term. <laughs> so have you guys been out and about? Cheeky, are you off for the holiday now? <laughs> I'm so <sorry. laughs> yeah. We, me and Chica, we. The, the auction house that we go to, we like it. it for professional reasons. <laughs> 25. Yeah, that's got like a bit of... Oh, no, it's just a bit of fluff. 25. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, I'm not talking about the eBay fee drama situation. <laughs> I've had my say. I've... See, my, my screen keeps on going off. Oh, this internet is shocking. Yeah, it is really windy outside. <laughs> so I don't mind. I uh, did a 300 stall yard sale a couple of weeks ago. Wow, other than that, just a local auction, all fun. Oh, I need to go on one of these, you know, these uh, jumble trail things. I need to get, I need to find them. I need to find them. <laughs> Actually, the last, like, yard sale that I went to was ages ago. Like, actual, like, we were just passing and someone was selling stuff outside the house. And I ended up getting a zebra printer with a load of labels and for a fiver, absolute bargs. What hasn't been said about the... I, exactly. Everybody's got an opinion. Everything's been said. I just think... Yeah, I, I, I did that video literally because I was literally just what, reading the news and it popped up. And I was like, oh, I better put a video out. <laughs> so I put a, bit, a video out um, very early on in the, in the morning at like six, six in the morning. And yeah, it's done. it's done okay. But like, it's... There's a lot of other people's opinions that I'm like, oh, I agree with that, which I didn't actually put in the video. It's just my initial kind of like reaction. Excuse me, <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, the, the, yeah, I agree with everyone. What everyone, what everybody said, I've agreed with everything because it is true. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, play it by ear. Keep keep on running. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I went to the um, <laughs> I was feeling a bit kind of like down because for I hadn't sourced for a week, and the we went to uh, the what you call it, the car, but the indoor car, but not the indoor, the undercover car boot near me, and it was rubbish. So, my mom, on the Sunday, so my mum took me to a couple of the charity shops, 
And we went to the garden centre because she wanted to go to the garden centre as well. So we had like a day on Sunday. But uh, yeah, I haven't gone out sourcing, sourcing um, since Sunday last. So this boot video is from like the week before. I think it's a fantastic idea. <laughs> What's that? No, I'm not, a bag of worms. Oh, so you know, you told me about the 18th, the Ibis at the 18th. I've actually seen that and I was actually going to book there because there's two, isn't there? There's one nearer to, what's that? Is it St. Pierre? Saint -Pierre? And there's one in my march. I, like, I, I've, there's, there's, a, there's an Ibis that I was looking at and it's like 50 odd quid in it. But it's not on for the days that I want to go. So I might have to go either a week before or like a week after. Because I was thinking at the end of, when was I thinking? Wednesday to Friday, Wednesday the 24th to Friday the 26th. But I might have to go the week before. I don't know. I might just go, I don't know, because I've got quite a lot of stuff on on May. Oh, and you know what? I've just paid my unit and I've got a credit card bill coming out in like a week. So, and that's like a lot of money. So I'm I'm down by like, almost like a full-time wage almost, isn't it? <laughs> Hope you're all well. Hi, Alison. Emma Marcha, yeah, yeah. Go weekend for the Broncans. Yeah, yeah, I, the the fleas. Yeah, I should. I should go the weekend. I think it's because it's cheaper. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I'm so... I'm so indecisive. It's ridiculous. It'll pay for the trip, trust me. Yeah, I should do, shouldn't I, really? The thing is, I can't haggle in French. <laughs> I can I can kind of... I, I can do a little bit of Spanish. What was it? Are you coming to Manchester at the start of May? For the meetup, yes. Fa Hi, Dan. Dan in Blackpool. Hello. Found your channel there. Say, well, welcome in. I've been around forever, but as people know, like YouTube doesn't really like me. I've made so many complaints about them. <laughs> so they, pu they push my uh, listings down. Uh, honestly, there's like 20 fleas all, uh, over a weekend, and it's great. Yeah. Well, there's the um, on the 27th in um, Netherlands, there's King's Day, where everybody, it's like a big festival about for the king's birthday. But they uh, it's basically like a car boot, but everybody puts like a blanket outside the house and just sells the wares. They put a load of tat on the ground, and people walk around and buy stuff. And yeah, so I really want to go. I think I might go next year, though. I think I might plan it for next year. Um, if you can, can you can haggle? Yeah, uh, do, do I catch a taxi separate? No, please. Yeah, I, I can. I think I'm just more confident in Spanish and German, which is strange because I love France. <laughs> I just don't know anything. I don't. I, I barely know any uh, any French. I should do. I did that at high school as well. You you have fingers or paper, but loads speaking English. I know, I know. They they go, of, of course, I speak English. <laughs> you moron. <laughs> you British moron. I've had that done to me before. I went. <laughs> I love the French. The French. I I, I feel like I I feel like the French are the cats of Europe. <laughs> they've just got, they've just got it, haven't they? Um, they all speak any because anyway, I know. Yeah. The thing is, they speak better English than I do. <laughs> right, burgundy, good condition, cool, cotton. <sighs> when are you going to um to France, Lex? So you go, you're doing a big trip, aren't you? It's a bit of a you're bouncing around a bit. I'm jelly. French people love knocking things off shells, yeah. <laughs> They're like they're waiting for someone to watch them so they can go. <laughs> Next weekend. Oh, fabulous. Uh Google Translate is your friend. I find that nice if you apologetically ask them if they speak English. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, <laughs> like, that. like a lot of tuts. <laughs> when I tried to speak a little bit of French to them, they were like and then you you try you, you antagonize over it and you're like okay you try and speak a little bit better. and then the answer in English and it's like oh. <laughs> they certainly have a have I love the shrug of the shoulders always been no oh. <laughs> see the Germans I find like 
they give you a chance. They give you it's like there's like an unofficial rule in Germany where they give you like twenty seconds if you're trying to speak German. They, try, they give you twenty seconds and then they just say reply in English. <laughs> they're like, like they're like trying to they just kind of stare you out a bit like that, and then they give, <laughs> and then the answer in English is like like uh, what is the uh, uh, MacPads? <laughs> and they're like it's that way. <laughs> just like oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Cheers. I could choose. Uh, polo shirts, cash. Oh, it's workout as well. That one. Cross listing everywhere because everywhere needs to be done. I need. I need the money. Yeah, that's the trouble. Like I've got some really big bills coming out. I've like I've paid off a massive bill today, um, and I've got another bill coming out next week. But I'm trying to cut down on a, or like all my subscription services. I've gotten rid of like Apple TV because I don't need that. That's like eight ninety nine a month. Uh, I should get rid of um, Disney or Netflix. But I really like because Studio Ghibli films are on Netflix. But I kind of like some of the stuff that's coming out on Disney at the moment. Like I re I'm really enjoying that Shogun. That's a sweet series. That's proper like gritty kind of. Uh, What's it? Uh, what's it? Nineties. Mm, oh no, noughties. Retro sportswear. Sorry, I've just got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> See, men can't multitask. Oh, they can. They can just. They just do it really slowly. <laughs> Whereas women are just like. <laughs> that is also a technical term. <laughs> Yeah, so um, what day are we on? Are we on Tuesday? Oh, we're on Tuesday, Tuesday the 9th. Oh, do you know what? Chica, can we go outsourcing or just go out thrifting? I'll come to you, I don't mind. Let's go to, like, Trafford or somewhere. <laughs> somewhere somewhere posh and have, a, have some grub. <laughs> and then go outsourcing. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs> Je suis désolé, yes. Parlez vous anglais is my convo opener. <laughs> So she's really like, I'm so sorry. Um, je regret, je suis anglais. <laughs> I regret that I am English. Well, you can get away with it because you, you, if they say English, you say no Welsh. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've got instant kind of like, no, oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> like, like I'm not British. I'm Welsh, kind of thing. That I think that's the same with like Scotland. You can kind of get away. Like, English is so reviled now. <laughs> it's like. I can't get away with it. Like the majority of my family, they're like from like Ireland, so it's like they can just say no, I'm Irish, and they're like, oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> you can get rid of everything. You need some enjoyment. You can't get rid of it. Yes, that, that's true. Um, I alternate between streaming services. Yes, that. So that is what we. So that's a really good idea. I've only just, I've only just learned about this. There's a there's a guy. I've forgotten what his name is. He does like lots of thrifting stuff, and what he his idea is, I've forgotten, I think his name is Dan something or Stuart something. And what he does is he has one streaming service a month, and he has it. Oh no, so he has it for two months. So he has Disney Plus for two months, and then he cancels it, and then he opens his Netflix for two months, and all the stuff that's built up over those six months, he'll watch and he'll binge. So it, it's like a build up kind of thing instead of like having spending 30 40 pound a month on streaming services he only pays like one set but for the reason why i'm in this kind of for uh, for so long is because everything came with subscriptions so like my phone had free netflix for like six months but then it had like um my ipad had like six to 12 months free disney plus and my brother's one had like 12 months free plus so we we've kind of like i just haven't cancelled a lot of it so yes we're all over the place uh yes, as much as I can on Disney, as I can on Disney, cancel then switch Netflix. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what I'm really. Where message me on the gram and let's go. <laughs> Definitely. Hi and the Garvey. Have you been selling any bed spreads lately? Oh, as uh, you sweet Pierre de Galay, <laughs> de Gaulle's de Galay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh. Oh, so uh, definitely illegal, but lots of my mates have fight. Yeah, that's another thing that they have. Yeah, there's someone, 
what's that movie stick that they have and they have all like the latest stuff even at random channels like nollywood and jamaican tv ah cool <laughs> pay de gal oh pay de gal yeah so yeah i don't know i think i really i really just want to like up sticks and go on holiday you know what i'm like i I'm get itchy feet i get too itchy feet and i just want to kind of do stuff so yeah I, it's 13 well it's 13 to 16 pounds for a flight there and then like so like probably the same flight back I mean, I've seen Harry, is it Imarisa? Uh, Harry, he's in France at the moment, isn't he? They're definitely got all the films, Netflix, and I know. Uh, we've cancelled Sky 115 a month. They wanted just for TV. Oh, See, my mum won't let me do that because we've got the football on there. She just wants the sports and the football, but you have to pay extra for Man United TV. And it's like, oh, it's a nightmare living with her. Uh, yes, lots of bedspreads. One to a TV production company. Ooh, I love them. They are my favourites. Who was it who sold that uh, pr trouser press that was in Doctor Strange, the, that do new Doctor Strange movie? There was someone that sold that wooden kind of trouser press kind of hanger thing. And they, they screenshotted it and that was the one that they sold. Was it like 500 quid that they sold? I'm in holiday mood now and I'm drunk. Good for you. Good for you. Huzzah. I've got coffee. I've got coffee there and I've got Oasis and I've got a pack of Monster Munch. <laughs> I'm going to get through later. Health. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've done that one. Let's, let's do another one. Uh. Look at that. How cool are the colours are they? Look at those colours. Aren't they lush? Rugby top. Oh, I tell you what I want to do, Chica. There's a warehouse that I ordered. You know, I ordered that big box, my first wholesale box. And I told them, like, oh, can you do bigger sizes and everything? And they did it. So I go, well, I might go back. I think it's in Cheetah Mill. I think it's, it's in North Manchester. I know that. But I think it might be in Cheetah Mill. But you can do like hand picking sessions. I think as long as you spend like 200 quid, or is it 150 now, then you can do it. Well, they sell shorts and I need to get a load. Of, well, I don't need to get a load of shorts, but I want to pack my store, my, my Depop shop out with shorts at the moment. Obviously, because it's coming up to summer, but also the past like three months I was looking. About 50% of my sales on Depop have been shorts and trousers. It's weird. So I want to get some dirt cheap shorts and they're, they are like £2 a pair. So if I can go and hand pick, I could get some really good ones. So I think I might. Can you have it? Yeah, you can. I'll give you, I'll send it. I don't know why. I'll send you the, um, the what's it? Is it? Is it Northern? Something? See, my internet's playing up now. It's... No, it's not. Not let me say it. It's not even letting me search. It's so annoying. It's like the same re football husband has been told he can get a now TV pass. Ooh. My sister has sold a tea set to the. No way! Has they, have they really? Oh my God. Of course, because it's the new series and it's like they're planning what is it? Over a hundred million a year is going into like I think it'll be more than that. It'll be like 150 odd million, won't it? So you're talking like over a billion one and a half billion pounds or dollars going into the British economy. So of course they're gonna be looking for new and weird and wonderful stuff. <gasps> That's a really good idea. Wow. That's exciting. That's so exciting. I mean, I don't like J.K. Rowling at the moment, but <laughs> hey, it is what it is. I can differentiate. I like the Potter birds. Um, why is that? Sports spirit. Van Stappen. Hmm. 
So I got some um, vintage Christmas lights at the car boot, and I got uh, three for five pound. And I checked two of them. Two of them worked. The other one didn't work, and it was the one that was the most valuable. Anyway, my dad fixed it, didn't he? So it's worth like forty quid. So I'm like, yes. <laughs> Can't wait to put them up. It it's got to be for Umbridge, I'm betting. Yeah, but that's like the fifth series, so that's like in a, like five or six years, unless like the planning for the future. They must have loads and loads of props from like the original part. Of it. I mean, they do, don't they? JK can go eat one. I know. Get bent, JK. <laughs> RC is not working, Mike. My internet might kick off, kick me off, so I do apologise. It's not me, it's my shit sky internet. Hi, Limelight, if you're still here. <laughs> Fuck's sake, this is so annoying. Ugh. I can't list anything, it's not letting me. See the lights on, so... Oh, they are, it's just come back on. Great imagination, shite morals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just a dickhead. <laughs> Have you seen, like, some of the the clear racism in all of her books? Like, there's a YouTube video which points it all out. It's hilarious. <laughs> Anywho, it is what it is. Hi, Scouse Dan. We've got a couple of Dans in tonight. We've got a new Dan. Welcome. I hope I haven't fr frightened you off. What do you sell, Dan, by the way, if you're still here or if you, <laughs> you've unsubscribed? Uh, how are you, Dan? Scouse Dan, anyway. Oh, I forgot to ask. What's that anime that you suggested on Channel 4? I was trying to find it the other day and I couldn't, I couldn't sign in. I couldn't sign into my, uh, my account, so I'm, I've opened up a new one, but I fell asleep last night. So <laughs> I'm really bad. I will get to stuff like that, but I just... It takes a while for me to uh, catch up. Uh, Polo. She included a gin dinner that's about as inclusive as she gets, apparently. <laughs> Should I be nosy and ask what TV show it's for? Yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> Hi, AA, how are you? It's been a while. I was in your neck of the woods the other day. Well, the other week. <laughs> I'm coming back as well in uh, in May. When is it? Uh, I think it's May the 7th or the 8th. I can't remember, but that's for Spirited Away. Oh, I'm so excited. There is also a Spirited Away little exhibit, I think, somewhere in London. So I'm going to have to go there. IMD The Buy It. Yes, you can go. If they, if it's a production company, you can... Um... <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me. If it's a production company, you can... Isn't there a place where you can actually check out? what productions what projects are in production it's usually under a working title are you in are you staying in an ills court in may yeah i am but i'm staying at a different hotel because i booked it before i stayed at this really nice hotel that I stayed in the other week i really like that hotel that i stayed in the other week was really nice it really was simple just clean easy yeah and the, the people that worked there were absolutely amazing. And it was for 48 quid. I It's £38 for a single, or it was 45 I think it was, for a double. And I got the double, which was on the ground floor. So, yeah. Ninja come come out. Right. Okay. All right. Where's... where's my phone? Oh, do you know, I'm so bad. It's not in my pocket. Where is it? Oh, I feel lost without my phone now. Is it... I've got my dungarees on. Is it in the pouch? No. Yeah. I'm not feeling myself, I promise. I was just like, <laughs> I was like trying to, I've got pouches, so I was like trying to bam, bam. Oh, I'll find it in a minute. 
Uh, I saw something to Disney, The Rivals. It's got David Tennant in it, and it's going to be a bit raunchy. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to have to watch it, obviously, to try and spot my eyes. Obviously. <laughs> What's today's gossip? I don't know, Chris. I'm out the loop. I, I got I was gotten off the ground running yesterday. <laughs> I was up early enough for that. Did my video, put that out. But I'm out of the loop now. I've, I've had my say. That's it. How did you get the hotel? I don't know. I, uh, I think it's because I must have left it to the last minute. Um, as I said, the thing is, hotel rooms, they fluctuate, don't they? I think I must have got it at the last minute. But there was a few. There was like two or three that were like 40-odd quid. Like private rooms as well. But I don't know. I just keep scrolling, keep, keep going for it, keep trying, because it'll it'll turn up. Uh, I tried Googling to know if it are. I sold a wallet to a James Bond film and a necklace to Star Wars. Blimey. Both of which I won't watch. <laughs> oh. Hi, Secret Carper. Everyone's made a, list, <laughs> a video on the list. Yeah, I think mine was the first one because I released it at like six in the morning. <laughs> Beat that rush. <laughs> okay. It's not red arrows. Let's try arrow spirits. No, it's not that either. Oh. Everybody's in tonight, aren't they? Ooh. I like my little group of a uh, little group of a. Uh, me live sessions with you lot keeps me on the go keeps me grounded you can tell you're excited to tell everybody <laughs> and i was like i've got it <laughs> i see you know when i was like afterwards when i published it i was like oh god this is going to go on forever everybody's going to be talking about this Probably sounded quite militant on Nick and Andrew's chat about it. I generally don't care there. It's just another... Yeah, exactly. It's another thing. And I don't... <laughs> Nick out of bed before 12 as well, yeah. And yes, exactly, yeah. He's usually up. Well, yeah, I bet he was awake because um, he's usually up at, like, like listing, isn't he, during the night or editing a video. Yeah, I think it's just one of those. You're just going to we're gonna have to live with it. And I do not blame anybody. I mean, I watched Shel Steruni's one, and she was right. She was just like, there's people that are going to be complaining about, oh, it's illegal. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Until eBay actually make it so it's, like, illegal to run a private account, it's not illegal. As long as you have, like, your distant sellers, you you can... um you put your what's it up, your returns, you, you're all right, you're laughing. And I don't blame people from doing it because it's getting to the point now where eBay are taking the piss. Sports spirits. Is this like the yachting one? Ocean Rider. Oh. There we go. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to talk about it. <laughs> um, so Shelley's round was funny. Yeah, it was. Hi, Gary. You're all right. Yeah, it's just, just one of them. Um, in other news, I'm preparing for my first whatnot show. Oh. <laughs> I missed the whole first week. The week was like I got an onboarding session on the Monday, then I fell ill. So, but then they sent that thing. Oh, you we we will match 150 pounds worth of sales. And I was like, oh, and I was absolutely KO'd. I was like, I'm not going to be able to make it. It's so rude. Anywho, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it and just uh, go for my go for the first show. Why not? Polos. There we go. 
if you were eBay though, what would you do to call push back? Do free fees across the board, uh, across uh, business, because it's basically business sellers that have got the most stock. If you think about it, like a large portion of, I mean, I'm an everything seller, but my, um, this is me not talking about it. Uh, I'm an everything seller, but this is, but a large chunk of my stock is clothing. I don't, I can't imagine the average Joe having 200 polo shirts. They've got like one or two they want to get rid of. So why give them free fees? It's a headline grabber that's meant to get people back on the platform or generate interest for general population to come back on the platform, abandoned, vinted. But they're not going to do it. It's not going to work because it's easy to list on. Uh, it's easier and it's a better platform to list on what's it, to list on vinted. So, yeah, it is what it is. If they If they really wanted to be bold... They could have done. They could have been bold and uh, they could have really, really gone to town and really kneecapped Vinted before it got to the point where, I don't know, where, where, before it got to the point where it's at at the moment. That's what I'm trying to say. But they didn't because they're cowards and they, they're greedy and they just want the money. Ah, there we go. I can do that now. As I said, this is me not talking about it. There we go. That, no more, no more. I'm banning it, banning it. Mods, ban me. If I talk about it, put a big... <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll message you, Chica, because I've just fancy, like, a day, like, thrifting or doing something but like i want to have a look i'll see i'll see about that um thingy bob that that warehouse see i'm worried it's going to be shy but like some of the stuff that they've got is really good it's just a bit pricey like the price lists aren't that bad they're pretty average actually but the shorts are really cheap 25 so we'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a whirl. Not reactionary copycats, yes. Offer business sellers 80% off fees. More would help, yes. What about bringing in new buyers? How would you go about that? I know some private sellers that won't sell any more online due to reporting of sale. But they've always reported the sales to HMRC. That's the irony. Nothing has changed. On that front, on that news, nothing has changed. They always reported to HMRC. HMRC always sent them a basically a command saying we need your information. And they get like every platform obliged because it's a, <laughs> a to op the country they need to oblige with HMRC. It's always been but now they made it public and made it a big thing saying like oh they're legally have to now without prompt. That's all it is. That's the word without prompting. So the government don't need to prompt them. They're given a deadline, and that's why nothing's changed. As long as you pay your taxes, you've got nothing to worry about. That was a non news story that has whipped up a load of bullshit. Sorry, I mean, it really pissed me off that news story actually. Just because of people's reactions, not because of like. You know, anything that I mean, the average Joe didn't probably know, but like those who've got common sense knew. Uh, Black Monster once had the chance to buy Netflix and they refused and they didn't see a future. Yes, exactly. I love that. And you know, the irony of that have you seen that TV show on, on Netflix? It's called Blockbusters <laughs> and it's a, it run for one season and they cancelled it. It's so good. <laughs> That was like salt on the wound, the last blockbuster, and it's like a comedy. It was released last year, I think. Remember when ITV spent millions on Friends Reunited? That died to death. <laughs> yeah, nail in the coffin. They must be kidding. They are. Are you sure on that report in HMRC? Some are claiming benefits too, and so on. Like that. Yeah, that's the thing. But you know why? 
the uh, it doesn't really. You've got you've got a threshold, haven't you? And also, you've you've got a threshold that they need to um, that if you hit over, then obviously you've got to report it. But if people are claiming benefits, why aren't the HMRC going after them? It's because they are so understaffed. It's unbelievable. It's so understaffed. They can't even go. They use it as a. They've used it to scare people into paying their taxes. Essentially, if they did pay their taxes, they've got nothing to worry about. But this whole kind of like story blew up, and every and it was all it was is just the government scaring people into paying the taxes, so they've got a bit more to spend. So the government have got more to spend in the coming budget. That is all it was. It was a cynical ploy to get people to pay their taxes. I mean, really, they should. They should. So it worked. <laughs> and if it scared people off the platform, well, more, more fool them. They should have been paying the taxes. And if they've buggered off to a car boot, well, that's fine. But don't expect to sell the same kind of clobber stuff on, on a car boot at eBay prices. Someone said to me, oh, now you have to pay tax. And I'm like, uh, duh, yeah, exactly. That I got that on a comment as well. And it's like, well, I've always paid tax. Hello. <laughs> oh, people, man, people. But then again, it's the government's fault for not making it clear. I mean, they they were like, oh, we want to make it, we want to make the tax system fairer. We want to make it simpler. And what's happened, it's all gone to pot. It's absolutely all over the place. Just come into rants and rage. I'm sorry, Lynn, Lynn. I'm just, yeah. I was all right before. And I, yeah, I just, I, I don't like change, but I don't like morons. <laughs> yeah, these people that were like commenting, the same people that say, oh, you shouldn't go sourcing in charity shops. It's the people who have no idea. The same people who uh, say, oh, you're going to have to pay tax now. And it's like, well, yeah, I do. I do already do. And when they say, like, oh, you shouldn't be sourcing. I got one the other day saying, oh, um, sourcing from a charity shop is a big ick. And I'm like, it's for it's for low it's for low paid people or homeless people. It's like, well, I was a low paid person until I started doing it. And plus, I don't just shop from charity shops. I do that for the content. <laughs> I do that for the content, obviously. And just to wind up people. <laughs> So, right, I've done... Why is that not working? Ah, there we go. Done. Post. Post. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, yeah, my Depop has slowed down a bit because I've put, I put it on holiday mode <laughs> without actually realising. And I was like, oh, God. But um, I've just accepted enough and they paid, which is nice. I like it when they pay. Don't we like it when um, people pay? <laughs> Uh, multicolor red. Let's try that. Um, let's do that. Small. Okay. Come on. Up you go. Upload. Complete this and done. Let's try this one now. Let's try. Yeah, MPs have shares in them. It doesn't surprise me. Make it fair, lol. <laughs> they make the billionaires' companies pay more. To exactly. Exactly. You're never going to get that, are you? Uh, how much tax do you think is paid on our car boot purchases? Very little, me thinks. Yes, that's true. I give Labour Party a mouthful a few weeks ago, then they knocked on my door, relation me. <laughs> that's what it is, and they all piss in the same pot. I spent over £10. <laughs> it's to pay. <laughs> yeah, I spent over ten pound in charity shops last year. Do these people think the charity shops don't want that? Then? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ten k, exactly ten thousand. I can't even. I think it. I think mine was something like. I think it was seven thousand. I spent last year, if I remember rightly. Not yeah, last year, the year before, when I did my taxes. So it was like I think it was like seven grand I spent. But I think a thousand. Actually, no. To be fair, a thousand of that was from kilo sales. I think. I think it was from kilo sales. My receipts were about seven grand because I spend on average a week at the car boot about 20 to 30. And because I'm all year round, 
and dependent because some days I go to the car, some weekends I go to the car boot and I only spend like 20 quid. But then, like, literally last week, not last week, week before, um, I spent 76 pounds. So, better the devil, you know. I said, Yes, exactly, Chris. 10 pound big spender, yeah. Which charity shops have you been going to? Not that even have one that I want him out. <laughs> Oh, green. <laughs> Screw the world. <laughs> right, let's put that there. Okay. So. Um, why is that? Oh, no. Wait, there it is. Found it. Found the right one. I'll tell you what, it's getting really easy to list, like, because I've got my eBay open, I've got my Depop open, and I've got uh, my Vinted open. And it's really nice, like, cross-listing, like, really easy. It takes seconds. Does anybody have Zip Sale or cross-listing app? Just out of curiosity, does anybody have it? I'm opening up a whole new can of worms now. <laughs> Drama Central. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm just genu genuinely interested. I want to know, because I think it does take, like, probably about two and a half minutes per one. So it's like six minutes minimum. <laughs> if I'm going to be, uh, what's it? Is this grey? I want to put this as grey, actually. It's not blue. Genuinely curious. Okay. Ooh. That's annoying me as well. Has anyone noticed as well on the app, when you go in to get to your seller thing, you have to scroll down now, but it used to be just there. It's kind of getting annoying. It's annoying. I use Crosslist Magic. I use Zip Sales, 33 items a month, and I dabble with Depop Bot called Cell Raider. Oh. I've heard of Cell Raider. There was um accelerated. It wasn't there. Is there's a, there was an American depopper. What's his name? A young guy, and I think he uses it. And I've and I was looking. I I think I looked it up. So does it work, Weeds? Is it any good? Oh now this is a bit naughty. There's a hole in the in the armpit. <gasps> oh, this is from a whatnot seller. Oh, I'm gonna have to sew that up. Hmm. I'll put this in the drafts, I think, before I do it. Do anything. Oh. There is quite the obvious. Ah. <laughs> this is from a well-known uh, whatnot seller. <laughs> well, not well-known, but like <laughs> whatnot seller. Mm. Good condition, is it? Is it? <laughs> then whatnot sellers are dodgy. I know. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. I've heard they're letting any riffraff on. Um, three of the days now, I might be a year so I this. Uh, hi, Kathy. I do rate Seller Raider. A uh, bit fiddly getting it installed as it's like a plugin for the browser. Right. I use it for relisting my items once a month, editing price simple, and sending out offers. Ah, so you, do you find it actually does work? Like the bot actually does do what it does, what it says on the tin kind of thing. Sorry, I'm picking your brain now. You don't. Have to. Uh, don't start me up. <laughs> Uh, chuddy punts or bumpy guess? <laughs> no, none of them. Actually, some of the stuff that I've gotten from them have been, been pretty good. 
Yeah, this is from um, somebody else. <laughs> but for what I paid for it, I mean, but still, it kind of stings a bit. It's like, oh, somebody wasn't looking properly. <laughs> right, um, let's put four for that and save for later. I'm going to save that to my draft so I can fix it up. Oh, do you know, my brother's given me a big bag. He's had a bit of a clear out and he's given me a big bag of stuff. I haven't looked through it yet, but he's also given me a load of like PlayStation games. And like one of them goes for like 20 quid. I'm like, why do you send it to CX? Ah, oh, this is it. This is one. Ooh, sorry. This is a nice top. It's a medium though. This I've sold the exact same one. <laughs> What's it called? It's an anthropology brand. Who? Not me. No, it's not you. I'd message you if it was. I'd be like, oi. <laughs> I bought two items from a whatnot seller and chucked them both in the bin. Dirty and stinky. <laughs> Not that well known, but if I've sent you crap, let me know and I'll sort you out. No, you've sent me a really, really nice stuff. I tell you what, that thing that you put in, the smell. Oh, it smells well nice. I can't stop like smelling it. I've got it here. Well, that's like, ooh. Uh, can you not return items? Before? Yeah, you can, but it's literally only a hole in. The, I think it's because I think it's the you know the seam there. It's just come undone there, so I just. Stitch it up, it'll be fine. Cherry just got home. She's released the puppy from jail. <laughs> She's only served a tenth of her sentence. Yeah, the bot definitely works. If I'm struggling to get uh, listings up that week, I just relist with the bot to help the, alg the algorithm. Crosslist magic is best for crosslisting now. Ah. Because I want to have a look at some of my um, listings because I haven't put everything. My Depop account, I think I've got six, I think I've crossed the 600 barrier. I've got like 600 listings on my Depop. But I've got a lot more than that on, actually no, I don't, I've got like 200, not 200, um, 200 more to cross this properly. But I, I think it's, I've got a lot of, I've, it's primarily men's stuff that I've got on my Depop. Whereas I think, that 200 might be women's stuff. I'm not sure. But I need to go through it because I haven't, obviously, copied and pasted very well. <laughs> we'll see. The fluffy dog is still being a sulky old man. A sulky old man. The less fluffy dog is a menace and he's in jail. <laughs> She's overtired here, shouting again now. She had happily gone to sleep before Joe got home. She stir her up again. <laughs> the dog's like kids, yeah. Yeah, so my I'm 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 gonna look into that weeds. Thank you. I'll have a I'll have a, another little mooch on it because if there's a way of cutting it down, it saves me like a bit of miver, saves saves me a bit of bother. Then it's all good. And like you say, if it was refreshing, because you do really well on um, on Depop, don't you? But I've been like I've been sending out quite a lot of offers because you can send bulk offers out like every other day. Yeah, use two to get the rest across. Yeah, I think I might do. It does make it so much easier. I can cross list twenty items in about forty five minutes. That's pretty good. But then again, I think cross listing is really it is really easy. Like copying and pasting, it's it's just a bit lazy. I'm just just being a bit kind of like eh, I can't bother. <laughs> I'll have a look. I'll definitely have a look. Fig flowers blouse. Yeah, that's the same one. Let me have a look. I sold it on a uh, vinted. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Oh, actually. Yeah, it was an XL, that one. Ah, uh, this is only medium. 
I need one more month and I'll be top seller. Yes. Got an email the other day. Yeah, I got because you need to have is it three months over a thousand pound and then you top seller? I was like 790. That's my been my the most that I've ever made. So oh, it would be great if I could hit a thousand for the next three months, but it's coming up to the summer slowdown, so it's like oh. But I'm not top rated seller, and I keep getting all of these. I'm on their accelerated seller platform thing, so I think they want to get me there. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's a point. Nope. Yeah, at the moment, I'm trying to focus on Vinted <laughs> as well. Trying to get that off the ground. Really, really kind of get that off the ground. Or pay a bit more attention. Because I've started like putting a bit of clothing onto my shop there. So, yeah, we'll see. Did you make a decision on that? Big? Yeah. No, I'm still deciding. I'm still kind of like trying to trim down my expenses so I can cover it. If I can do that and cover it, like cover it for a month, I'm, I might go for it. But we'll see. There's other options available. <laughs> other options are available. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But it, is, it is definitely up there of one of my priorities to try and get a bit more. We'll see, but it's a lot of money. It's still like a lot of money. It's basically like renting a house almost. I don't know how much houses get. Well, not a proper house, but like a terrace house. It's like, it's like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Late spring, early summer is still very busy for me on Depot. But yeah, you're really good on it though. The old fan is just grumpy. <laughs> I wonder if it's because like I showed a lot of love to Depop and that's why it kind of popped off a bit. I'm hoping that's going to happen to Vinted, but yeah, I don't know. There's so many kind of like, not conspiracy theories, but you know, like, oh, how does the algorithm work? You know, that kind of feeling like, how does the eBay algorithm, how does the, you know, and it kind of forces you to do all these types of things. And it's like, oh, does it work though? Is it really working? Is there anyone else, anyone else nearby that could share it? Maybe that's a good idea. Why didn't you buy a garage? <laughs> yeah, I should do, shouldn't I? The amount of money that I'm pumping away. I suppose it. One thing I'm paying for is security. It's the this the unit is in a massive warehouse, and the warehouse has a gated kind of thing and it's got like three different passwords to get in and then like then there's a key there's a lot there's a lot of security and there's like uh cameras and everything and it's got an on-site security guy there's a, it's it's Fort Knox essentially like this site and it's in a really nice part of town so and it's literally only like five minutes away so there's a lot that I'm saving. I'm saving a lot of time and a lot of travel money. It's obviously like petrol and everything. But yeah, time is a big set. Like it's a big time saver. Can you get a mate to go in with you on the rent? I could do. You say garage really part of the garage. Do I? Garage. They are. <laughs> Me garage. <laughs> and let's put it at that. And put it at that. I'm happy to let this go for a song, actually. It's kind of doing me head and sat there. Um, what next? Ooh. Oh, so yeah, I got that T-shirt back from that weirdo. He sent me back an XL T-shirt, which 
I was just like, you know what, fine. I refunded him. But the pictures that I took of it was a large. It was a large. <laughs> so he sent me back the wrong thing, but it is in good condition. So I'm like, okay, I'll take the extra large. Fine. And to be fair, he kicked off royally, but he hasn't left me negative feedback yet. Because they can leave negative feedback whenever they want, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, I'm going to put that up. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Oh, that's the point. I'm going to have to do the... Um... What it says? Garage. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's garage. <laughs> The garage. <laughs> I don't know. I just say garage. The garage. <laughs> exactly like my cousin. The garage. You put it in the garage. <laughs> That's probably where I got it from. The garage. Uh, right. Where is this top that? I've... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think I found it. There it is. Yep. Bit of a fixer up. Do you know, since this uh, news about the eBay fees has come through, all I've been selling, not clothing at all, <laughs> it has been pottery <laughs> and toys. That is all I've been selling. I'm like, cheers. <laughs> oh, it makes a difference, but it's still, it's just interesting, that, isn't it? Still paying the bloody fees for it though, but hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I think I might look into that, like sharing um, a garret, like a workspace. Because literally, all I do is pick my orders and store the, store the stuff. I don't actually work in there. I could do, but I don't. I should do because then I can, then it actually cleans out the house of all like my crap. So this garage will be actually clear. So I suppose I should really shun that. Uh, where is it? There it is. So similar. Oh God, I've been on an hour. How did that happen? Oh, no, what's this? Would you sell? I've got an offer. Would you? Oh. No, I'm not selling it for like twelve pound off. It's ridiculous. People want like 50% off an item and it's like rude. I never send stuff offers like that out. I think I'm cheeky when I send off offers that are like 20% off. Has it got that on it? I just want to make sure. I oh, know they don't. It doesn't even have. Ah, oh, so they have sent like the wrong thing back. Oh, naughty! They are so naughty. Oh, well. Literally crying. Like, he was crying over a T-shirt, but, like, he's definitely sent back the wrong thing. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, no, it's graphic print. Okay. 
copied and pasted that. Sorry, I'll be with you in just a moment. Right, I've got to do the pit to pit measurements again. Oh, I'm on it. Hi, Angry Otter. How are you? Yeah, I got a 40% offer on a lounge fly yesterday. They can bog off. I know. They're so cheeky, aren't they? You, you just put no. Although last time I just put no, I got inundated. I got like, what's the word? Targeted from one of these vintage mums groups. <laughs> just evil people. Throw me a load of abuse. And I was like, no, no, never again. So now when they give a sob story, I say, sorry, I, I give them a sob story back. I say, sorry, I can't. It's for my child's part. It's, <laughs> it's for my child's um, penny part. Just to make them feel bad as well. Honestly, the amount of sub stories that I get is unbelievable. And it's like, do you think it actually works? I'm trying not to be like mean, <laughs> but no. You don't go into like Sainsbury's or Argos or, you know, not Toys R Us anymore, but you don't go and like cry over it, over a toy and say, I need it, I need it. First off, teach your child a lesson. The lesson of saving and delayed gratification. And for, um, was it financial responsibility? We can't afford it, so we're not going to get it on credit. We're going to save up. We're going to get it then. That's how I did it. <laughs> and now I'm in debt. <laughs> Thanks for your interest in my item, but no. <laughs> what's that? What's that? What's that meme? How about no? Oh, it's the um, Austin Powers singing it. How about no? Uh, so. I'm good. Enjoying a bit of sun peeking through. Oh, have you, we've just got wind and there's some black clouds forming, so we think there might be a bit of a bit of a hurricane. Casual. Best cotton. Like so. Okay. Shipping small. I can't understand people offering bids. You wouldn't go into Zara and ask to pay less than what it's like. <laughs> exactly. It's just, they think it's like their divine right. Honestly, this this woman had like a, such an attitude on Vinted. And so I blocked her. And that's when I got literally an hour later loads of abuse from like, I'm talking hundreds of people, hundreds of people filling up my inbox, calling me, oh, like, proper nasty stuff. It's telling me I was, I was um, cruel and um, they were like, she told you her story. Why are you not a black, why are you not accepting her offer? It's like, first off, she offered me, for something that was 9 99 she offered me one pound. <laughs> and I was like, no, there's a reason why there's an accept and a reject button. You can reject it if you want. And I did. Yeah, these people didn't really, As soon as I put in my thing, though, it's like, it's like I'm, I've contacted Vinted and they've told me to go to the police because it's getting into a harassment now. All of a sudden, they stopped. <laughs> and plus, this one really should be careful about who she targets because she's a seller on Vinted as well. It took, I could have bought something from, from her store got on a returns label straight after found out her address <laughs> it's scary how easy it is 
Obviously, I didn't do that because I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> Uh, I just have to put my heat on. This house is cold. Oh, I hate that. I hate a cold house. Uh, indulge ba baby brats turn into adults that can't get with that. Yeah, that's true. Or narcissists, exactly. Or Boris Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> have you told them all to f off? That's to hope you. I did. Ready, steady, retro. I did. I bet. Well, I just the amount of abuse that I got. I, a lot of them were offered with the same offers that I think it was. What well, I don't think it was one pound. I think it was like two pound. But um, yeah, I basically I got inundated with the same offer, like they were trying to buy it for her or something. So I mean, I should have accepted them all and just been like, no. I think it was they wanted to dox me. But they got to be careful because that is coming up to being illegal now. And with my experience with psychopaths on the internet, <laughs> I do not take kindly. I will go after them. Let's see. Okay, so I've done them. I want to do this one thing that's been hanging around for a while. Oh, no, I'll do these. I'll do... Oh. I've got three. Oh, I'll do these cagoules. I've got these cagoules that I want to do. I know it's shocking with Karen behaviour. It is. And it's like it's so unnecessary as well. Just move on. If you don't like if <laughs> I all I said, I didn't I was not rude. I just said no. That is literally the only thing that I said. I said nope. And it triggered them to the point. If you if you're getting triggered over a nine 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 pound ninety nine toy, you shouldn't be allowed in public. <laughs> Let alone on the internet. New ETs deep in thought of that. I know I got <laughs> I got this new one. So you know, I tried the electric one, it works. Uh, and I thought I'll replace it with this one. This one is a bit of a bum buy, but I've swapped it out with the expensive one, which I got at the auction, funnily enough. So yes, I've put him up there. He is a th in thought. He's next to ET and Growlithe and Ponyo and oh, what's it? I've got so much crap up there. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Uh, have you got any deep dives? In the, oh my God, I've got so many. And I filmed the golf one and I've done it, I've edited it, but it still needs tweaking and it's so frustrating. <laughs> but I've got, um, let's see up there, I've got um, Wedgwood. I've got golf. That's the one that's done. I've got a tick next to that. <laughs> I've got Wedgwood. I've got uh, PlayStation One games. I've got Game Boy games. Um, I've got one for uniforms as well because there's a bit of a kind of issue with that at the moment. In fact, I've got it here. I've, I've filmed it. This is the thing. I filmed them. Those are the ones that I filmed, but I haven't edited yet. Be careful, by the way. DHL, DHL, the delivery company. All delivery companies, be careful when you put it on because it's Vero'd. And it's Vero'd on, uh, not Vero'd, but they restricted on a Depop and Vinted as well. So they will take it off and they'll give you a slap on the wrist. Just saying. <laughs> we live in an angry culture now. After 9-11, people don't know how to deal with trauma. Yeah, that's true. And they went online to vent their anger towards anything they could. And 24 years ago, it's just compounded. Yes, absolutely, 100%. Hi, White Rose Reseller. How are you? Oh, uh, if you don't know, White Rose Reseller, are they? Do are you guys doing your first whatnot show soon? I know I am. I'm going to be doing. I'm. I'm going to be doing it later on, not today, but <laughs> one day. But uh, yeah, White Rose Reseller are doing a whatnot show. So look it up and bookmark it because we like firsts. Um, how is your car boot out there? Any good? My Sunday one has not been that good. Hopefully it'll pick up soon. Just don't know where people are. Yeah, I've because I've had like 20... Oh, God, it really is about to absolutely chuck it down, you can tell. Um, yeah, my undercover car boot is really good. It's very small and it's very... In fact, it's not very good. I always pick up something there. I always pick up one thing or like, like a bag full or something. Uh, the big one that I went to, that was really good. That was very good. I think once it starts kicking off, like summer summer starts, it'll be a lot better. 
Hi, Andrew. How are you? Oh, Andrew, I've used that Fleek voucher. I did. I've checked out that. What was that one that that Creed Vintage that you suggested? Uh, I've gone. I, I basically I went the cheap route, and I basically I bought some t-shirt bundles of t-shirts. Uh, I've got one bundle that I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for the other ones to come, and then I'll do a video on it. But so far. <laughs> Uh, most of them are still cancelled due to the sudden vehicle. Yes. There's ones in crew that are still a bit iffy. We're on at 8 p.m. Friday. Nerves are shot. Oh, you'll be fine, guys. You're really good. Your videos are really good. You're really confident in your videos. So, should be all right. Uh, not surprised weather has been too wet. Yes, it has. Looking forward to seeing your first show. Are you looking to auction the fleet stuff? I might do. I might do. I mean, some of it, the, it's basically all it is is T-shirts. And some of it I don't think is probably the best. But for what I paid, I think altogether it's 50 items that I got for it. So it works out. I mean, I pay, I got it all for free because it's my free fleet voucher. So, Brummy Time Lord. Hello. How are you? Open your audio. Going, yeah, me, me too. Yeah, you'll be fantastic. You'll be great. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to sell for my first show. I don't know. I think I might just get a load of like random bits of items, loads of like clothing and toys and just go for it and some mixed media, some games and just do a whole kind of like raw kind of opening. But then I'm going to start doing themed themed show so like a disney show or like a men's clothing show or like a mixed media show you know i'm going to do maybe one of them every two weeks i'm not going to go full hell for leather on it it's not it's it's not my bag but i'll i'll give it a, i'll give it a whirl cagoule i couldn't even think of the word cagoule i watched your video on the bungalow viewing i was so in love with them and they are a lot peaceful yes I'm doing my first one with my stock from home on Thursday. Ah, there you go. Everybody uh, bookmark that at Chica. Um, I like the quiet there, yes. Got a state agent coming to value my house next week, so concentrated on emptying it now. Do you want me to come and help? <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> um, do you have to pay the host a whatnot? What? Do you have to pay to host or whatnot? No, it's free. I think you've got, for every item, I think it's like a fee, isn't it? It's like 10%. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, that's an Excel. Trying to get these cagoules. Oh, it's a large. I knew it was. I thought you were moving to London. <gasps> oh, no. Ah, there we go. Yeah, my internet is very slow today. It's taking ages to load up these items. No, can't afford it. Yeah, I don't blame you, mate. It's... Ugh. I mean, I can see... Here's the thing about London. For a long time, I could see myself living there. And I came this close to moving. And I was like, should I go? Should I go? Should I go? And I didn't. And over the years, over like the 20 odd years since I've been like, trying... I don't know. It's, I don't like London to live. But I can see why lots of people obviously live in London. Because it's everything is in London. Everything. And it's like, it's insane. And it's like amazing like in terms of culture and everything it's yeah it's bottlenecked and it's fabulous <laughs> uh it's not Sorry, I'm just doing this. Large. It's not a poncho. It's a jacket.
used vintage. Yeah, I could see myself living there, but I'm just, I don't know. First off, it's, it's a city designed to bleed you dry of your money. It really is designed, unless you're earning stupid amounts of money, it is very much designed to keep you down. I mean, well, life is really, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could live there all the time. I like my peace and quiet as well. I like... countryside on the doorstep uh depends on what things sell for it's a fixed percentage plus 30p ah so if stuff only goes for a quid you only get 59p so you need to be careful of buying costs yes so if you pay if you pay like 1p per item and you only sell it for a quid you get 59p you've made 58p but then if you sell like a hundred all of a sudden you've made 59 pound Essentially. So yeah, uh, the one of these. Thank you, Chica. That's amazing. You know that off the top of your because I'm just like, eh. uh, I hate it here, so desperate to get out, but stuck with husband and teachers who don't want to move out. Yeah, I can understand why though. I can understand because it's so kind of like I don't know, I feel like you have to be wired a certain way to survive London. Like, I barely survived Manchester, and it's like, it really turned into a, like, a secondary London. It was like yuppie town by the time I left. But I just, yeah. <sighs> don't get me wrong, I don't mind London. I do like it. I go I go there quite often. But, I, like I said, it only in small doses. I think that's the best way to do it. In terms of cities, big cities, small doses... Small cities, I quite like, I prefer. Or living on the edge of a small city. Or even a big one. Like, Manchester's a decent-sized one, but I don't go in every day, so. It's too expensive and overpopulated. <laughs> Marry me instead. Live by the beach. Job done. Uh, thanks, you guys. I'm not a reseller, but the amount I've spent on one on myself, I need to offload some stuff. <laughs> yeah. If you ever get divorced, I want to stay... <laughs> I want to say single, life is easier and decisions are low. It's more expensive if you're single, trust me. I've worked that out the hard way. <laughs> right. London is nice for a day trip, but that is where it's sits up. Yeah, I agree. As long as I can say single two, you've got to. Oh, God. Right. I think. Oh, I wanted to do one more thing. Well, I've got, oh, I've got a couple of things I could do. Yeah, so on my, my next deep dives, I've got, like I said, I've got one that's basically done. The golf one's basically done. And I've got two, three, four that I've filmed, so I just need to edit. This is what I mean. It's like, I'm so lazy. <laughs> I've got a um, March review kind of like of my sales. Um, and I've got another video that's basically done. So I, I, videos are coming thick and fast. As long as I can see that, yeah, it's, yes, it is very addictive. I looked at, because I, uh, I was looking at like how much I spent on whatnot. And I was like, oh my God, that's actually quite a lot. Uh, it not necessarily cheaper as a couple. It depends if your fella makes any money doing anything or just sits on the PC. Oops, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Doesn't he do the cooking, your fella? I wish London was more in the middle of the country. I think I'd visit it more then. Yeah, I, I, yeah, same, same. And it's like, it's not the set. I, I don't know. London's got its own kind of feel when you're walking around and when you're shopping. That's completely different to Manchester and Birmingham. I feel like Manchester and Birmingham are very similar. And to a certain extent, Liverpool. I mean, they, they've got their own personality, but they're, it's very similar walking around. London's got its own distinct feel to it. Very similar to like Paris. Paris is very different and very kind of like, there's a, there's a, a fr frenetic energy to it. I'm 20 minutes on train to London station, about five minutes walk away, but rarely go up. Isn't that strange? The wife earns more than me, but I do work. 
London is yeah, it's like a bubble in it. It's like its own different world. I love it in small doses. Yes, so yeah, I'm going um, next month. The next time I go is on the eighth or the ninth of May to see Spirited Away. I'm staying overnight, and then I promise that what's the other thing that I'm going to? I'm going the end of May. I think it's the twenty first or the twenty second to Blackpool of all places. Cities are filthy. They are. Although when, if you go to, uh, I think, it, where was it? It was really clean. The subway stations were super clean. Athens. Athens, just well, it was just before the Olympics. But they criminalised litter, litter, litter pick, uh, dropping litter. They criminalised dropping litter, <laughs> like, for the summer on the run-up to the Olympics. And it was spotless. Spot. It was so clean, so, oh, it was gorgeous. Their, sub, their whole subway system was insane. Uh, what are you doing in Blackpool? I'm seeing a show <laughs> and then coming home. I'm literally going there in the evening, staying overnight, and then uh, coming back in like the morning. Nothing too exciting. I wish I would it that hits disgusting. Yes, the London Underground is absolutely atrocious. And when you go like that to your ear, when, has anyone ever done that when they've been on the tube and it's like soot and it's horrific? It's full of tourists. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I heard so many... There was, there was German, French and Spanish people German, French, and Spanish people, like, all I could hear like, them talking. I was like, I was, there was a German, like, family next to me. I was dying to speak a little bit German. And when I went up to the Sky Garden, I got in the elevator, and I was like, there was a German family in there as well. I was like, ooh. It's like, should I say, hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> you should be a tall guy there. Yes, you should. <laughs> yes, right. I'm going to do this one other thing, and then I'm going to shoot off. I've got, right. What's one of these, what are these dresses called? Is it just a maxi dress? I'm really bad when it comes to the keywords. It's like one of those beach dresses. <laughs> Sorry, it's like that. It's like, does anybody know? I'm trying to like <laughs> it's just a really long dress, <laughs> but it's really nice. Uh, rats making my hair stand on end. I was walking through Manchester, and I was on a bit of a kind of like a mission, like proper like that was when when I used to walk really quickly, and I, <laughs> I was very slim, and I was walking, and I was wearing these really big boots, and I was literally crossing uh, into Piccadilly. And I'm not kidding, the biggest rat you have ever seen went out in front. And I didn't realise like what it was at first, but I accident I say accidentally, I was walking that quick, but I caught it perfectly with my shoe and I booted it and I booted it so hard, it f flew right in front of me. And it was, it was like that big, it was like that big. And it flew into like a few people. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like people just screaming like... <laughs> I absolutely hate the slip roads and the motorways are so disgusting. Why are you throw your rubbish at the car? Yeah, mingers. <laughs> I'm forever asking Charlotte how to describe a dress. Wait until the whatnot show. Dress thing, job done. It's a long stripe, people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, like, no chance to mess it to get out. My second son is now asking for us to wait for him to finish uni. He intended to attend at London University. Oh, very lucky. I would I'd like I almost went to King's College. Almost. Uh, rats make great pets, Rich. Yeah, they are. Weirdly, they are apparently very intelligent and very clean. Like, weirdly. <laughs> George, biggest rat. Honestly, I'd say the biggest rat. Honestly, it was like that big. It was like, it was. <laughs> but shit scared of him. Like, and you just heard this, like, squeal, like, ee! like, probably like, ee! like, squeal, like, when I booted it. <laughs> Because I had to walk past them. Because they, I think they were waiting for a bus. You know that on old, it wasn't on Old Road. It was the one before. But yeah, it was insane. Right, let's try a uh, long black white dress. <laughs> I 
Yeah, dra- maxi dress. I found the exact same one, maxi dress. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> a long white, black and white stripey lady thing dress. <laughs> yeah, I'm rubbish when it comes to women's clothing, though. I am learning. I'm constantly learning about it. Oh, that one's got a tank dress. Oh, it looks the same, but it's not a maxi one. Let's try and find it. I'm going to try and... And it's more of like one of those ones that you put on over your, like, your swimming costume that you wear to the beach and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll just copy and paste that one. There we go. I'm petrified of rats too. Don't mind rats. It's the filthy windows that bother me. I actually like rats. Yeah, I can hack the rats. I just can't hack the politicians. <laughs> Gone from eBay fees to big rats in this chat. I know, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Uh, they're more scared of you. That's true, yeah. Same with spiders. I don't mind spiders because they capture the flies and I can't stand flies. Flies or like bee, not bees, but you know, like things that buzz like blue bottles or something like that. I can't stand them. That's more of an annoyance than a disgust. Like they annoy me more than anything. So I leave the spiders where they are. Like, up in the rafters, I can see, like, cobwebs and stuff. I'm like, oh, I... it's their home. So I leave spiders. And I, and, and I put spiders out on, on the side because I'm all right about them. Um, it's not small, though. It's large. Not too far apart, really. Fat cats to big rats, yeah. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> black and ivory. Okay, if you say so. It's black and white for me. Good. Oh, do you know what? I've got two more free cinema tickets. So I think I might have to go to uh, Newcastle and have a thrift day. Go to the cinema. And have like because I like going to I like going thrifting by myself, but then going into the cinema and just chilling and like eating a load of shine <laughs> or having a costa or taking in the subway, you know, and just uh, sitting in the dark munching and watching a really rubbish film for free because you get to get it with Sky Plus or Sky. What should we call it? Why is this so long? Why is this dress so long? Oh my god, who is this tall? Actually, I've got quite. I've got weirdly long arms. I think that's like sixty. Yeah, I've got my wingspan is weirdly kind of quite long. <laughs> I, I can't, it, it, it beats the thing. Hang on, wait, can I do that? There's the thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there it is. So it is six foot, six foot. Oh, sorry, seventy-three inches, which is one inch over six foot. Yeah, I've got weirdly lanky arms compared to everything else. <laughs> the rats in our backyard fight the crows while the pigeon shits. I was up the tree. I cut watches them out the window, wishing a. <laughs> Swishing her tail like a demented windscreen wiper. <laughs> That's an image and a half fill like it's in. <laughs> um, right, so how do I... Me how do I... What should I do with the, like, the... I've measured the length. Should I measure the... Um, the bust? Because it just goes... Yeah. I'll be fine. Okay. I swear this is the last thing that I'm listing and then I'm going to go have some tea because I've been on an hour and a half. 18. Pit to pit. Spelling. Spelling. 
So you should be about six or two. Yeah, I'm just over six foot. I'm probably around six one. Something, something like that. What's the tea tonight? We're on sweet potato and cottage. Oh, that sounds lush. I don't know, actually. I think it's fish. I think my dad's doing fish for his. Let's put that on there. There we go. Done, deadly, done, done. Yeah, I think it might be fish tonight. Oh, excuse me. Drink of coffee. Yeah, so I've learned a fit a little bit on um, the stream tonight. I'll uh wait, are those the same ones? Let's do that. Roast chicken at Jollof. Ooh, nice. It's some green at nice. Yeah, if we go out cheek and that, like this week or like next week, we'll have to uh, get a bit of scran. <laughs> I'm up for a scran of you. Oh, cool. Right, that is a large chunk done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's only eight things that I've done in an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, don't let Cherry cook it. It'll end up cremated. Oh, rude. You shall, you'll, ha you'll have to cook for Andrew. Let him know how uh, well you can cook. Hi, Ross. How are you? Two middle finger is your hat. Is it really? We can start something cool, 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 cool. Because I'll come into Manchester. I don't mind. Uh... What else can you tell from a man's span? <laughs> hey, now. I thought it was like foot, like shoes. A shoe size. Big, big shoes means big socks. <laughs> right. We haven't even gotten onto the post office thing that's been on today. <laughs> Well, that Higgs boson fell his past, hasn't he? He was 94. It's a guy, Andrea. It was cooked for her. She's putting hers, hers together. Okay. <laughs> right. That is me done. An hour and 40 minutes. God, that's like a movie. That's what I thought too. <laughs> yes. Behave yourself now. Keep it clean. <laughs> it's before the watershed. Big socks. <laughs> oh, hello. What's this? Is £30 plus postage acceptable? No. Because that is 50% off, you bastard. <laughs> Ignore. Um, if you're interested in the post office thing, uh, have you watched the dropout on the dropout? I've watched the dropout on uh, Disney, the one about the, uh, hey, my name is Elizabeth, like she, the funny lady that speak that, who did that, uh, Serena or whatever it's called. Uh, I tried to cook for myself. Yeah, I honestly, I think I might start cooking for myself because I need to get back on the Atkins diet because I'm, it's just, yeah. And right now, my, my dad makes really nice food, but sometimes it's a lot of, like, potato-based stuff at the moment. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's on uh, Disney. Yeah, it's crazy, that. It's crazy. I mean, she's been sentenced to prison now, and she's literally in prison. For, for lying. Anywho. Weirdos be weirdos. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you all. Just Sorry, I'm just sending out some offers <laughs> while I'm doing this. Love you and leave you all. Not wrong with potatoes. No, there's not. <laughs> we like potatoes. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you all. And um, I don't know when I'll be back live. Um, it might be, what, what day are we on? Tuesday, it might be Thursday. But we'll see. I'll just 
pop on whenever. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching and keeping me company while list, <laughs> keeping me uh, accountable, listing things. But yes, I'm going to love you and leave you. And yeah, au revoir, don't, don't eat Joe's cooking. <laughs> Have a lovely evening. Bye, everybody.